How to set up and use work measure function. In this video, we will be using work measure to determine the fixture offset positions when sitting apart in the machine. There are two parameters associated with this procedure. These can be found by going into the setup page. Then we use the right arrow until we see the user menu key. Press that key to go into the user parameters. You can move two ways to get two parameters, 8701 and 8702. You can physically move the cursor to get to the parameters, or you can use the page down or the arrows to get to where you need to go. You can also use the param search menu key and type in 8701 for the control to find the parameter requested. Once you're at those two parameters, we will be changing 8702. This is the diameter of our edge finder we will be using to perform the work measure. Typically, diameters are 200 thousandths of an inch, or a half an inch. In this example, we will be using 200 thousandths of an inch, as it is the most common edge finder. We highlight the diameter parameter. Next, we type in 0 0.2 then press input to make the change. When done, we will press the close menu key to get back to the setup screen. Measuring the x-axis. To start with a measurement, we will go into the setup page. Next, we will find work measure menu key. In this example, we will be using the face measure. We locate that function in the menu key bar. In order to properly measure, we make sure we are in handle jog mode and then select the x-axis. As we move the edge finder closer to the left or right edge we need to measure, slow the increment down so that we safely touch the part and get an accurate measurement. Once the inch finder breaks off center, do not move the excess any further. If we move the axis in the opposite direction, it will compensate the edge finder on the opposite side and give you an inaccurate measurement. Press the Skip Taken Position menu key to record the x-axis. Notice that the difference between the machine and the measure position is different by 100 thousandths of an inch. The difference is also based on the direction you're moving in. You can now move to the y-axis. Measuring the y-axis To move the y-axis with the measurement, we will go into handle jog mode, then select the y-axis. As we move the edge finder closer to the top or bottom edge, we need to measure. Slow the increment down so that we safely touch the part and get an accurate measurement. Once the edge finder breaks off center, do not move the axis any further. If we move the axis in the opposite direction, it will compensate the edge finder to the opposite side and give you an inaccurate measurement. Press the Skip Taken Position menu key to record the Y position. Notice that the difference between the machine and measured position is different by 100 thousandths of an inch. The difference is also based on the direction that you are moving. Finally, you can select the fixture offset that you want these coordinates to go into by pressing the menu keys below. We will be putting ours in G54 offset. So, we press the G54, G59 menu key, then press the G54 menu key. To move the info from the top of the screen to the fixture offset, which is named here in the top corner, press the coordinate right menu key. You will now see the numbers populate the fixture offset, and now you have your X and Y axes set up in G54 and ready to use in a program.